Your brain doesn't care why something you've done was successful. The only thing your brain cares about is that you are successful. So if you have a certain type of behavior, as everybody must have, when you succeed, either because you built it up with really, really good habits or because you were lucky, your brain will take every single behavior and belief that you had and it will amplify it because your brain will say, look, dude, I don't know what you're doing. I don't care what you're doing, but it's working. So I'm promoting it. If it was a bad behavior, it will promote that. If it's a good behavior, it will promote that. I learned of my flesh, of my own really, really bad experience, what happens when you don't have good habits set in place when you win. That's one of the reasons why I stress the importance of having all around good habits in all areas of your life. Because then when you win, your brain is like, again, I don't know what you're doing, dude. Keep it up, keep it up. But so it will increase everything. So you'll have beliefs. It will create these biases where your brain will be like, oh, so the reason I was successful is because I have all these habits and everything is working and because I'm perfectly consistent. Now, is that true? Of course not. The reason I was successful was it's because you got lucky. It's, it's always about luck. It's like, I, I was at the right place at the right time. Obviously, the more consistent you are, the more likely you are to get lucky. But all success is some form of luck. Eventually, it's a good, it's a lucky break. It's a good opportunity, just seized at the right time. So you can be not, cons you can be inconsistent and still get lucky. You know, you can, you can like, like a singer can post just one video, and that video will go viral, and that singer now has you know, millions of fans, it happens. Um, but, but in general, uh, the, 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 more, the harder you work, the, the luckier you, you get. It's, it's simple, it's just because you have more opportunities, you're more experienced, you're more prepared. So um, what happened to me was I started making a bunch load of money online uh, from various stuff. Uh, it started with stock trading and then from coaching and then from uh, kind of uh, this marketing piece that I put up. And I had really bad habits. Like I ever had really, 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 really bad habits when that happened. So, um, when I, so when I started making like a lot of money, especially eventually from coaching, it really fucked me up because I had bad spending habits, for example. So what happened was it got amplified so it's like okay i'm already kind of a, a spender so now that i have a lot of money then i have to spend it all or i wasn't working out and then even though i, I worked only like three eight four hours a day and all the, the rest of the time i was available i was still not working out just because i didn't have the habit and and the habit of not working out which is a negative habit it's the habit of not doing something it was, it was just reinforced. So the more successful you are, the harder it will be to change your habits because your brain is going to be, again, it's going to say, I don't know what you're doing, but I like it because it's working. I don't care what it is. Your brain doesn't know. It doesn't read books. It doesn't know what behavior caused the success. It just knows you did this in the last couple of days and this produced this result. So this might be the, the exact same action that, that would have that would usually lead to failure, but you just got lucky, it would still reinforce that action. And then you'd keep taking these decisions, even if they're harmful. That's, by the way, for the people who say, you know, oh, uh, when I'll be successful, then I'll uh, start developing uh, my fitness, for example. And no, you're not. <laughs> you're not. Because uh, whatever habits you had before you got successful uh, were amplified. So if you didn't have the habit of working out, uh, now it will be even harder. I don't care if you have the money, the time, it will be even harder now to do it. So before you even get into the realm of success, 
you have to build good habits. Like if you don't build good habits, by the time you're successful, you're fucked. You're fucked because you're going to destroy something. Maybe you don't have good relationship habits, so you're going to destroy your marriage. Maybe you don't have good fitness habits, but you're going to destroy your health. And I'm not, I'm not saying destroy as in next year. I'm saying over the long term, it's going to get harder and harder, especially if you win. So, so at least hope you don't win. So I hope this video makes a lot of sense to you. The point of this video is that if you still have some sort of a misconception regarding success, realize that it's simply a lucky break. It's simply something natural that happens once in a while for the people who take action. And the more action, the better. And before you get successful, do a checklist of all the things that are important for you. And, and trust me, even if you're like, oh, fitness isn't really that you know, big deal right now, it will be in a few years. So you can write stuff that are important to you in the long term. So in the long term, do you care about being healthy, having a good functioning body? If so, then yeah, fitness is important to you. It doesn't mean you have to work out like two hours every day, but it does mean you have to do 10 push-ups a day. You know, something minimal, but having the habit of doing it every day so that when you do make it, it will amplify the good habits. Make sure you don't have any spending habits, for example, because when you make a lot of money, they're going to get much worse. Um, anything of that sort, you have to kind of put a mental check. I'm sure I've missed a lot of possible bad habits uh, that you can think of. And uh, um, I obviously also talked mostly about my bad habits, but um, yeah, that's just from really, really raw experience, some bad, bad shit I went through. I mean, I, I've been successful so many times and and every time um, either I, I did something wrong, I, I, I let go of it instead of maintaining it, I stopped growing it, like I made pretty much every decision, every bad decision in the book. So everything you hear from me it's from tons of experience. Like I know I'm 22, but I, I, I believe that as an entrepreneur, I've had like the lifetime of an 80 year old by now. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope this helps a lot. Um, this is relevant for people who are not yet successful. Build your fucking habits uh, or pay the price later magnified with interest and those who are successful who already have something going pay attention what habits are you missing you are you know you're there's no way no way that you're like me that you like I, every single habit in my I, I'm like uh, every, every single area of your life has to be daily habit like you don't get to that point Unless you got fucked up like really hard from that. So let's really make that mental checklist. Like what are you missing? Because the next stage of success it will be even harder to correct. Okay? Pay attention. Look at everything till infinity. Like like if I have this behavior and it, and all my behaviors grow for the next hundred years, what will happen? Cool? <laughs>